Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to this session of the, uh, the Sea Power Conference. I'm impressed that uh, we're, we're still getting good attention to the themes of this issue because after the um, themes of this, uh, this conference, because after the, the spectacle really of the last week, the, essentially the, I think the festival, uh, both intellectually and visually of, uh, of, of really sea power, maritime interests, uh, the work of navies, uh, it's, um, it's, it's a real surfeit of, um, a real surfeit of material. So thanks for coming along. I wanted to um, first introduce myself and then introduce the, the theme and the speakers for this, I think, really important session that adds to the, uh, the, the, the very focused discussions we had this morning. Rory Medcalf is my name, for those of you who don't know me. I work at the Lowy Institute, a foreign policy and security policy think tank here in Sydney, and we've got a very close relationship with the Sea Power Centre and the, uh, the work of the Australian Navy uh, in really building uh, intellectual foundations for maritime strategy in this country. Uh, I direct the international security program there. We've got two uh, really first-class international speakers here this afternoon on a topic that at first blush is, um, is kind of, um, maybe not contradictory, but has a certain tension built into it, uh, but which actually captures uh, the, the logic of what governments all over our region, uh, Indo-Pacific region, Indo-Asia-Pacific or Indo-Pacific Asia, however you want to pack it, the kind of... Um, policies that they're going to have to reconcile in, in really developing uh, effective maritime forces in this century. And that is regional engagement and power projection. Um, these are not always two, uh, I guess, consistent, uh, consistent themes. At the end of the day, power projection uh, is, a is about a lot more than, than regional engagement. But in looking at this region and in looking at the interplay of, of economic and strategic interests uh, that is really redefining the region, and we heard some pretty uh, clear messages on that yesterday from uh, people like uh, Professor Wesley, in looking at this region, governments are reshaping or, or crafting their maritime forces to do both, to project power and to use those forces for the kinds of, I guess, naval diplomacy that will reduce risks of conflict, reduce risks of misunderstanding, uh, maximise opportunities for collaboration. To that end, our two speakers, uh, Dr. Uh, C. Raja Mohan from India and Dr. Ewan Graham, who uh, I guess uh, I can't really say from Britain anymore because he's uh, representing or he's based at a Singaporean think tank, but a, a, certainly a regional maritime security specialist, will look in particular at the Indian and the Southeast Asian perspectives on this topic. I'll invite each of them to speak for about 15 to 20 minutes or so, but I really encourage uh, questions and uh, I guess thought-provoking questions from the, from the floor. So we'll start with uh, Raja Mohan. Uh, Raja, uh, Dr Mohan's a, a good friend of um, the Sea Power Centre, the Lowy Institute, and really I think Australia in our efforts to build maritime security cooperation with India. But more importantly than that, he's one of India's leading strategic thinkers and commentators. He's currently head of strategic studies and distinguished fellow at the Observer Research Foundation, which I think is India's uh, foremost independent think tank. And uh, in, in various other roles, he's, uh, he's affiliated with the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, the, uh, the Indian Express newspaper, and indeed uh, the Lowy Institute. Uh, Roger, it's my pleasure to uh, welcome you.